Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about the leftmost and rightmost derivations. If in a derivation of a string of terminals from a start symbol, productions are applied to the leftmost variable at each step, then this derivation is called leftmost derivation. Right? In leftmost derivation, production is applied to the leftmost variable at each step. Now suppose these are the productions of some grammar. In this S is the start symbol plus and this into and a small a small b and a small c are the terminals. Right? These are the production rules as derives s plus a, as derives s into s, as derives a, as derives b, as derives c. Now there is a string in the language of this grammar. Right? This string is w which is equals to a plus b into c. Now we have to find out its leftmost derivation. Right? It starts from S, right? Here we have applied the production rule S derives S plus S. So S is replaced by S plus S. Now, here in this string, we have two variables, S and S, right? Both are S. We can apply production rules to either of them. But since it is the leftmost derivation, we will apply production rule to the leftmost variable. It means to this S. Here I have applied the production rule S derives A. So this one S, leftmost S, right? This leftmost variable, right? This S is replaced by A. Now, in this string, I have applied the production rule S derives S into S. So this S is replaced by S into S. Now again, there are two variables, but I will apply production rule to the leftmost variable that is to this S. I have applied the production rule S derives P. So this S is replaced by P. So after replacing this s by b i got this string in this string to this s i have applied the production rule as derived c so this s is replaced by c so this is the derivation of this string of terminals a plus b into c so this is the leftmost derivation of this string a plus B into C, right? Now, now let's study about rightmost derivation. If in a derivation of a string of terminals from a start symbol S, production is applied to the rightmost variable at each step, then the derivation is called rightmost derivation. In rightmost derivation, production is applied to the rightmost variable at each step. Right. Now let us find the rightmost derivation of the same string W which is equals to A plus B into C by using the same production rules as derives S plus S, as derives S into S as derives A, as derives P, as derives C, right? Start from S, right? Here, I have applied the production rule as derives S into S, right? S derives S into S. So S is replaced by S into S. Now, here I have two options. Either I can apply production rule to this S 
or I can apply production rule to this as. So since this is the rightmost derivation, I have applied production rule to this as. I have applied the production as derived C. So this as is replaced by C. Now in this expression, I have applied the production rule as derives S plus S. So this S is replaced by S plus S. Again I have two options. Either I can apply production rule to this S or I can apply the production rule to this S. But since this is the rightmost derivation, I will apply the production rule to this S. Here I have applied the production rule as derives B. So this S is replaced by B. Now in this expression, I have applied the production rule as derives A. Right. So this S is replaced by A. So this is the rightmost derivation of the string A plus B into C. For a given context free grammar G, if there is a string of terminals W in the language of grammar G, then there is a leftmost and rightmost derivation of W.